always tracking, always alerting. Here's your StormTrack 15 weather. It is 547, beautiful start to the morning. We love to see a picture like that behind StormTrack 15 meteorologists. Adam Olivier, if you are planning your day, know that you'll probably need some water and some sunscreen. And maybe one of those portable fans or right. you know, something to keep you cool. Because yep. Alex, oh, we got some heat to track in your forecast. But at least as you said, we get a nice picture to start the day. Now, it's still pretty warm out there already. This is a live view from our Hub City Tower camera. And we have some beautiful colors, the yellows, the oranges, the reds, all fading to the baby blues out here. But there's high humidity. And that humidity, coupled with temperatures in the 70s, near 80 degrees, in fact, here in Lafayette, oh, just makes it feel so, so uncomfortable. Look what we have going forward. By 8 o'clock, we're hitting that 80 degree mark. If you're not already there yet, we'll see a few passing clouds, but otherwise, pretty quiet start to the day. Now, you may go up to Texas on our radar and say, whoa, there's some big storms up towards Dallas. And typically, if there's something out to our west, we're thinking that it's headed our way. Unfortunately, though, there's high pressure right here over San Antonio, and that's causing the flow pattern to go more towards Mobile, Alabama, rather than to us here in Acadiana. And so what that means is we miss out on the rain and any cooling effects that it may have. Locally on radar, there's nothing to track out there, and we likely will stay rain free through the day today. Next few hours shows sunshine mixing with cloud cover. Those temperatures already by 9 o'clock, mid 80s possibly. We're jumping quickly and by 11, some of us will already be at 90 degrees. Now yesterday, Lafayette hit 92 during the middle part of the day. Very likely we do that again today. This afternoon, you see Futurecast picking up on nothing but sunshine. Any storms head off to our east. Now, sure, it's possible we see an isolated storm that pops up due to the daytime heating and the sea breeze and all that. But more than likely, you're not going to see any rain out there. After hitting those 90s this afternoon, we get down to the upper 70s for overnight lows. Tomorrow, we'll see a high in the mid 90s. Now, in the days ahead, our moisture increases as high pressure sets up right overhead. So we get hotter temperatures higher humidity, and that means it's going to feel more like 105 to 110 degrees starting on Friday, and that gets us in the danger category here with those feels like temperatures. So it's likely by the end of the week, we'll start to see some heat advisories in place. Through the next three days, well, more mid 90s. I drop temperatures a little bit tomorrow because we pick up some gustier winds. Afternoon storms are possible Thursday, but still likely not gonna see a whole lot. And then going into your Father's Day weekend, <laughs> upper 90s to near 100 degrees each and every day and not much of a rain chance, Alex. Don't know if that's the best weather for a Father's Day cookout. At least you'll least. be able to get to enjoy some <laughs> indoor activities. Right. <laughs> wow. Okay, Adam, listen, thank you for that. We will circle back a little later here in the show.